everyone, it's Bex from Bexley Creations here and welcome to day 10 of 12 Days of Christmas Crafts. Today we have a Christmas make and decorate your own sleigh kit. Um, it says it comes with 17 pre-cut shapes, 5 2 milliliter paint pots, 1 paintbrush and 1 1 meter silver thread. Um, So everything should be included. Uh, I'm gonna try to use the paintbrush that came with the kit, but in my experience, they're not the greatest. So I do have some other brushes I can always grab. Let's open this up and take a look. Wow, that's a lot of pieces. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so there's our silver thread. And it looks like that's just to attach the sleigh to the reindeer at the end. So there's no, no instructions with this. So uh, there's our paint. We've got red, brown, black, white, and green. Here is our paintbrush. It's just one of those very cheap. Um, yeah, not much to say about that one. <laughs> and then here are all our pre-cut pieces. So they're all made out of wood. Oh, and there's a strong smell of obviously because it looks like they sort of burn the edges and you can smell burnt wood so um, we've got some antlers uh, reindeer bodies these look like oh, these look like the reindeer legs um, we've got a present and it looks like that's it that goes in the base just trying to sort them into piles um, Santa and the base for him and the rest it looks like is the sleigh so we'd have the bottom the back the front and the two sides now What's interesting is looking at these pictures. So if you look at Santa, he's quite detailed, but the piece of wood is not. It's what we're gonna have to draw him in. So I may change my plan here. Um, I may, I'm definitely gonna need a better, more precise paintbrush. I know that. I'm just trying to think whether to use Posca pens to get the details. So it might work a bit better. Um, now, have they just left his... Yeah, it looks like they've left his face plain, like the color of the wood as his skin tone. Um, but I do have a beige Posca pen so give me one second i'm going to grab another paintbrush the posca pens um a pencil an eraser and see how we go <laughs> okay so i've got my thin posca pens uh, my slightly thicker ones some better paint brushes nice and soft a pencil and an eraser so we will see how we go um, okay let's start with Santa so it's that way so we want to go straight across there I'll um, fast forward through this bit to so that you're not hearing me talk to myself and draw something, erase something, draw it again, 
Um, so yeah, I'll just skip ahead. Okay, it looks like Santa's really the only one we have to get too detailed on. Everything else can be done after painting. So, I think I'll, I'll try it with the paint and see how we go. Um, for the little details, I may use the Posca pens, but. So, I've got a jar of water here to rinse my brush. I've got some paper towel for any spillages. <laughs> which I'm sure are bound to happen. Um, so I will start painting. Um, again, I will fast forward through this um, so that you're not you know, sitting here for potentially hours. And um, yeah, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I've painted everything. Um, some of the paints are very thin and it's more like a, what you call a wood stain, I guess. But I kind of like the effect of seeing the wood grain through it. Um, the white on Santa did, just barely shows up. So I'm gonna have to go over him with the Posca pens, I think. Um, once the black on him dries, I'll do that. Uh, we need to put some circles on the present and just some little faces on our reindeers. So I'm going to, this has been filming for nearly 45 minutes, so I'm going to pause, um, load the video from my phone to my computer so I don't run out of space. And then I'll come back and do the little details and that'll give everything a chance to dry before I do that too. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so 
time to add some little details. Just got my Posca pens here. Uh, hopefully there's enough paint left in them. Okay, so it's bleeding a little bit through the grain of the wood. So that's probably why they recommend using the paint, but Okay, so I've added some little details. Um, unfortunately, they did sort of bleed into the wood grain, but sort of just working with what we've got here. I have to clean off my table too. Okay, so um, time to put it together, I guess. So we'll start with the sleigh. So now, if I can remember where I put it, there it is, we've got the string and it looks like they've actually sticky taped it. Hmm. So, oh, open that up. Try and get that tape off. There we go. Now it's stuck to me. <clears throat> okay. So, trying to see on the box how this goes through there. Okay. doesn't really um, show much on the box so it has to go through this loop on the sleigh and then I guess we will just tie each end to a reindeer oh his legs again have to put some glue on that I think um, so we don't want it too far. Just tie this in a bit of a knot. Get the thread to cooperate. One more because it seems like the type of thread that's just going to pop open all the time. I'll probably put a dollop of glue on it to hold it. There we go. The glue dries clear, so. so that's one reindeer. Um, move this one over here out of the way, and we'll 
do the same thing to this one. Goodness. Okay. So it's probably a bit too long, but and then we've got Santa and our gift. So I will take you off the tripod, bring you down to have a look at the finished product. And yeah, I'll take it from there. And dear, Santa, the present, and the sleigh. So, the string could probably be a bit shorter, but it's not too bad. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a like or a comment subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow for day 11 of 12 days of Christmas crafts. Take care. Bye-bye.